My mother and father sleep in a bedroom with four children. Our names are Maria Bradley, Philomena Bradley, Tony Bradley and Angela Bradley. What are the Bradley's chances of financing a new home? Roy Brooks, the estate agent, explains. Of course, I can't help these people. People don't understand what it is to live without any hope of getting anything better. Overcrowded, insanitary conditions with no chance of a family life. Nor can they do anything at all. A few people do manage to put down a deposit and buy a house. But where are the houses to buy? They're at fabulous rents, even if they're obtainable. That's it. You simply wait. You wait on a list. Here is one that got away and lived to tell the tale. From Karachi Social Club and Griffin Hotel, Wakefield Nick and St Mary's Hostel, motorways and car parks, parks and toilets, idle rich and unemployed. From shit they sell and shit we buy. From kids with no mums and mums with no kid. From all dead meat and my dead friends. Pubs and clubs, from gutters and stars, local tips and old slag heaps. From badgers and owls, wolves and swans. Here is a son of Yorkshire. Here is one that got away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good children go to heaven. Following the Second World War, Britain faced the task of rebuilding the countless bombed-out houses and city slums that had defined cities since the Victorian era. Their solution was high-rise cities in the sky, which housed families just fine, but had the unintended side effect of leaving residents with a sense of loneliness and isolation. Meanwhile, on the television, the children growing up in the post-war era saw a world of conflict and disarray, political turmoil and divisions over the future. What the public needed was reassurance and security in this new frontier of British life. Starting in the 1950s, the Central Office of Information, or COI, began producing public service films about a wide array of issues very dull and people would all be squashed together so much there won't be any fun or anything. I think it'll be a, um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. I think it's going to be very boring and everything will be the same. I mean people will be the same and things will be the same.
Now, on the way home, me dad pulled into the, the cafe on the motorway. Now, I wasn't properly ready for mixing with people. Now, I went to the toilet, and there was about seven or eight people in the toilet, geezers. Now, I was convinced that them people in that toilet was waiting for me. Hey, mate! Where you going? Where you going, mate? Hey! Breeze! Breeze! Sea Anywhere in that ice? You don't know where in that... Mate! Where you going? Sea crystal is... Nice cold, man. Always somebody, isn't there, eh? Somebody who wants to be awkward. Just won't be interested, doesn't matter what you do. It's like you, Casper. 